Welcome back to HD Tech Logic. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on a VirtualBox VM. Now this video is going to be split up into four different parts. Part 1 will be installing VirtualBox. Part 2 will be installing the Windows 11 ISO or ISO. Part 3 will be installing Windows 11 onto VirtualBox. And Part 4 will be setting up Windows 11. Let's get started. So what you're firstly going to want to do is type into your browser virtualbox.org and you should be taken to this website. Then you're going to want to click the big download virtual box. This number may be different depending on what time you're viewing this video. Then choose the platform packages for the certain platform that you use. For instance, this is a Windows machine, so I click Windows Hosts, then it would download that. What you're going to want to do when you download Windows 11 is go to https colon slash slash hdtechlogic yt dot page dot link slash win 11 iso and you'll be redirected to the download page. You then scroll down, select the download, click it, choose the language that you speak, then click confirm. You then have your download. To make your VM, go to new and type in the name box Windows 11 VM. This should automatically change to Windows 11. If it doesn't, scroll down on the list. Now if Windows 11 is not an option, make sure that you're on the latest VirtualBox version. Click Next, and it will allocate the minimum amount of RAM needed. And it's suggested that you make a virtual hard disk. The minimum is 80GB for Windows 11. The VM is now created, but before you go and click the start button, let's just suggest a couple of things. First of all, system, we recommend that you turn off the floppy and boot the optical drive first. It's also recommended that if you're going to have quite a powerful PC, you up the amount of processors. Go to display, and if you have a 24 inch or bigger monitor, it's recommended that you bring this one up to 125. Now, if you have something smaller than 24 inches on your monitor, leave this for now. I'll put it up to 125. This is the very important bit. Click the empty optical drive and click here. Then you're going to have to click choose a disk drive and you're going to need to find your ISO file. I've already got it here for myself. So I'm going to put that on, I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to start the machine. This is the Windows 11 installation process. And let's now move on to step four. So step four. Setting up Windows 11, we're going to firstly go here and select UK or your time. Click next and then click install now. I'm using this as a test, so I'm going to click I don't have a product key, but if you do, you can select and type in yours. It's recommended that you choose Windows 11 Pro. Now, if you get this message, then keep watching. But if you do not get this message and just get the license agreement straight away, go to the timestamp that's currently shown on the screen and then we'll continue there. But for those that have got this message, this PC can't run Windows 11, follow these instructions. Do Shift and F10 on your keyboard and it should open the administrator command prompt for the VM. Then, Type regedit and click hit enter. 
This is registry editor, and you're going to want to go to H key local machine, system, then setup. Then you're going to want to right click on setup, click new, and then key. You're going to want to name it lab config. Capital letter on each word, no space. Click enter and make sure that you're in lab config. Then right click, new, D word, 32 bit value, and name it bypass TPM check. Make sure there's a capital letter for each first letter of every word. Make sure that TPM is all in capitals and there's no spaces. Click enter and make sure this value data is on one. Click OK. Then you're going to want to make a new D word value called bypass secure boot check. Go into that one and change the value data from zero to one. Then you're going to want to do that again, but this time bypass RAM check. And then finally, you're going to want to make another one bypass CPU check. Now note that this has gone to value data and this is a different menu because this is the binary value. Be aware that the binary value has the same color as these ones. So you've got to make sure that you don't mix up the D word with Q word or binary or any others. Change that to one, and then close regedit and type exit into command prompt. Then click the back icon there and then click next again. You should then see the license terms. Accept the license terms and then go next. In this instance, for this test environment, I'm just going to be installing Windows. This is our virtual hard disk that we made earlier, and let's get Windows installed. Now, you should be in the Windows 11 setup screen. Click yes, if you've got the right country or region. Choose your keyboard layout. Choose if you're gonna add a second keyboard layout or not. And allow it to check for updates. Now you'll be offered the ability to name your device. You can name it what you want. In this case, I could name it Windows 11. But in this case, I'm not going to name it at all. I'm just going to skip this step. 
Now, we've now got to decide what we're going to use it for. I'm going to recommend that if you're going to use this in an environment just for testing, do it for personal use. Click next. And then you will be forced to log into a Microsoft account. But hold on, this is a test environment. I don't want to be logged into my main Microsoft account. Don't worry. Go to sign in options and click offline account. Now, you can do all of this with a Microsoft account. If you just want to completely skip it and make a Windows account, you can do it this way. Name it whatever it's going to be about. Now note that the name administrator is locked and you cannot use the name administrator. Although, say you want to use system administrator, they're not going to stop you from doing that. Now, you're going to want to make a super memorable password. Or not. If you don't want to make a password, just click next to that enter and anything. Now you've got to go through this process. Because it's a test environment, I'm just going to say no to everything. Allow it to do what it needs to do for checking updates again. and you've got Windows 11. Now say that you want to make sure that it's reaching the correct aspect ratios. Firstly, restart the machine to make sure that it's ready for everything. Now, what you're going to want to do is change the optical drive in the settings from the ISO to the guest editions ISO which you can get off the VirtualBox website. Click OK and now restart the machine again. Now, go to File Explorer, go to your guest editions, and run the application. Allow, and then proceed to install the guest editions onto the virtual machine. If you've got to reboot it again, And now that you've got the guest editions on the machine, you should then be allowed to change the view to whatever the size of your display is, and go to the window settings, display, and then adjust the resolution where it fits. What you can do is do control with the right control and F, and it'll adapt to that screen size. There you go. Now you've got Windows 11.